Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2. Last time we played we... We did the mission at the Musk Mellow Field. We saved some chocobos from hungry wolves. Yeah, that was it. And afterwards we went to the pub, we did some stuff. We learned that Luso has a weird journal with him. Hmm... Weird Lu a weird journal indeed, that writes itself. Mm, how magical to be honest. We also went to the, the bazaar, we got ourselves a new weapon, the Predator. Seems kinda nice. Oh rather, seems okay, to be honest. It has the monkey grab a grip for bangers though, which could be nice. We'll have to see. And now for the green dominion. Because we got a wait. Can I see my That's clan info? Press report. There are a ton of quests apparently. Yep, that's a lot of quests I see. What is this one? A green dominion, there you go, that's the one I was just uh, thinking about. There's talk of a strange group gathering in Tarkwood. They stand in a circle chanting off a green dominion. And sometimes they call an jerk. Look into this and see what they're about. The mystery tears. <coughs> I looked at the items that they gave and was like, I, I gotta have that. What's how we're going over there? We have accepted that one. We haven't done that one yet, though. And these two are available. It's like that one may be available, but that one I don't have. <laughs> So for that one we need this food, which we we don't have, like at all. <laughs> we don't have at all. So that's kind of eh. But we'll sure to get that one next uh, later on. But first things first, we have to stop a dominion who is here trying to get supremacy in here. Not on my watch, my friends. Not on my watch. Show our purple for being green. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. Defeat all the foes, and there is uh, something strange. Uh, reaction abilities are forbidden. That's fine. Nobody, of, uh, none of us has that at the moment. But there is something strange right over there. Which we need to go get. I think. Can get six characters with us, so that is even better. You can go over there, and you, our little thiefling, thiefling, uh, our little thief, can go ahead and get that thing over there as well. <laughs> Let us begin then. We are ready to go. Select clan privilege. Shame there is no move there, to be honest. And I kind of that one was kind of useless, to be honest. Chances to hit and avoid being hit. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take that uh, power on on this one. Nizhuk, Nizhuk, hello, Nizhuk, Green Dominion. Those have to be after. Uh, those have to be the ones that we are after. So it's like they're chanting a spell. Um, hey, what exactly are you doing over there? Green Dominion, heed us, Nizhuk, Nizhuk, grant us your power, Nizhuk. Who can concentrate with these noise? This incantation is ruined! How close we have come to divine... divine... Divining? A new magic! You have paid the price for the disrupting these rites! Ah! <coughs> uh, what did you expect? Chanting some creepy magic in the middle of the woods. I love that they're doing poses. <laughs> that was kinda cute. And they're very fast, and they're very strong, I see as well. Level 4. Bl oh, okay, blind. Okay, I thought it was bind. Hmm. Blind or bind? Which one is better? Whew, nice. Only a 40% chance of missing, but it did miss. That's very nice. Miss Midori. They're all called Miss Midori. Okay. 
Fun fact, Midori means green in Japanese. And take the treasure. High potion. Very nice. And you can wait. You can use focus. And then wait. You can go and punch their faces. That sounds very nice, don't you think? Yeah, there you go, let's go. Punch in the face! Not really a punch, but you get the drift. You go in the water. Weirdly enough, we can attack while we're in the water. I wonder if water gives us a, a resistance to fire damage. That would be nice. Speaking of... Eh, it's raining. I'm not gonna use fire. Uh, wait, I want to. I want to check. Is that the difference? Mm, there is no difference because of the rain. What about blizzard? Okay, nothing. Nothing has changed. That's kind of a shame. But we'll do what we can do. To be honest. Very nice. And that should be enough. Let's wait. You. You can wait as well, I guess. No! Don't attack uh, Luso. Ouch, my face. Wait, she has no weapon on? Don't tell me she doesn't either. Why are they punching us? <laughs> Ow! They're literally punching us. I guess I'll try to move as well. Hmm. Ooh, 36, that's very nice. Patonk! Hey. <laughs> I'm trying to go get. Oh, come on. They're blocking our path. I wanna get to the treasure! Let me go to the treasure! <laughs> uh. I guess. Now is a good chance to test this. 27, that's a lot of damage. And 27, okay, that does no difference. What about eyes? Yeah, no, no, no difference made. That's good to know, okay. Now... Getting a bit closer. I guess I could go and do this, but I'm gonna hurt myself way more than I'm going to hurt those guys. So I'm just gonna do this. <coughs> Please get out of the way. Nice, she did. It's just gonna put us all to sleep. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> no! I shouldn't have gone there. And Bobo the must sleep, yeah. Okay, that's... It's not so good, but what can I do, I guess? Well, I can't tell you what I can do. I can sell some money. Hmm, but that doesn't tell me how much money I'm gonna steal. I don't only have half percent chance of getting the money. Steal the target skill. To be honest, they don't even have weapons. So you... Take the knife. A bad tail. Eh, that sounds kinda nice, to be honest. And to be honest, uh, you over there that's sleeping... Wake up, dum-dum. Oh, what? <laughs> mm. We can also go over here. How much can he move? One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Yeah, nice. If I do this, then he can reach the, the treasure next time. Very good. Just what I needed. Eh, I'm not gonna get you. I'm gonna get the other one I'm right over here. I think that's the, the boss of them, right? Yeah. That seems to be the boss. I need to check their equipment, to be honest. Are you gonna punch? Ah, you're gonna punch that guy. Okay. It's so funny, funny how they're punching us. Well, Midoris. When are you gonna finish punching us, ain't you? <laughs> okay. 
And now I wanted to see. No, I wanted to see the. It's not the one I wanted. She has a green mace. And she has blind and sleep. What do the other ones have? She has a robe. And nothing. So there's. It's only the one that has the ma uh, magical abilities. Okay, it's good to know. Hmm. Should I make it so that my <laughs> Moogle gets all the kills? <laughs> then it will be the MVP for the round. Okay, you can still make yourself wet. That's fine, I guess. Pew! I guess he does. He is making the most damage, I think. No, I can't see shit anymore. Hmm. Attack that guy or do I attack this girl? I guess this one is fine. I think we did last time like 10 damage, right? And take the treasure, that one's hidden well. Ether. Okay, that's kinda nice. And now, if you don't kill her, you're gonna steal money. Mmm. That one is not going to be a kill, I think. No, my money! Now it's gonna be a crit and <laughs> kills it. <laughs> yeah, fine. No. Not now. Uh, and you... Why are you looking at me, eh? Why are you looking at me so strangely? Stop looking. There you go. She's going to continue punching. But to be honest, that's fine. That's the only thing that they can do, which is... Pretty nice. I was kind of scared seeing their level, I was like, well, level 4, that's gonna be hard. No, not really. It's, it's like, one is level 4, the other ones just can't, can't just punch you. And I think this guy... It's gonna miss. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And now you're gonna go blind my thief, right? Uh, now he's gonna sleep them. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that one. And... Nice. Didn't hit him. Which means... Lil... Uh, Moogle... Lil... <laughs> Lil Jerem... Can kick this one. Oh, can knife him. Ka ching Can knife her, rather. She's a Viera. Not a... Not a thing about it. I haven't shown you guys something. <laughs> something kind of important in this guy. Oh, and this girl. She is a green mage. You might have noticed that if you... Looked at the down right. But the green mage is a new class, uh, a new class in this game. It's only well specifically for Vieras, but as you guys can see, they have what's it called? Many debuffs, fury fragments. Um, okay, but they're more of a debuffer class. It's kind of like a kind of like the what is it called? The elementalist, but more magic based. Even though the elementalists were kind of heavily magic based. And I guess Luzo can uh, defeat this one. Which would still make the other one our MVP. Because he did defeat two of them. Windstone. Very nice. We didn't manage to steal any gil, but. It was a 50% chance. What can we do? I am beaten. Not. Yet has our power grown to maturity. Forgive, uh, forgive us our anger. Fully a day we've spent preparing, only to have all come to naught. I go contri contrite. Let me share the wisdom of the green mage with you. Each month we come to this place to study the art of these magics. Join us, would you like? Uh, that's uh, nice of you to offer, but I think I'll probably pass. But the green mage job is now available. Very cool. Completed. Oh, yes. Oh, we didn't get a MVP this time. But Luso, Vergas, Zavel, 
and G Gren got to level up. Nice. Lucy is increasing in levels. I'm gonna cut a lot of stuff. We got a Baron and Iron Helmet and eye drops, but eye drops are kind of eh. They kind of eh, really. But that one was easy. Much easier than I was expecting, to be honest. But nice. What about the Baron? Normally, someone. Ah, there you go. Soldier can use it. So. That was not the one I wanted to use, but there you go. That was also not the, the way I wanted to go. But wrong. First aid has been mastered, and now Ren power. And you have learned focus. Very nice. So that means that technically you don't have anything to learn at the moment. This is not so good. Hmm. Let's see, maybe we can get something at the pub. How can I help you? Do you have anything new? Uh, you don't have this item required? Come back later. Oh. So I guess the only thing left would be the yellow wings, to be honest. Drive off those brigands, the yellow wings. Before I lose what little business I got left, they've been squatting the high road, demanding yield from all the what pass by. If I can't use that high road, I can't get to Kamoa. If I can't get to Kamoa, I'm finished. Kagan. Kigran. The merchant. And we get lots of money, which is very nice. So we'll accept this quest. That'll be 100 gil, and... Off we go. Hmm. We'll read the rumors later on, I think. Not now. Oh. I guess I could read them, because... Uh, that, that is where they block us, okay. Mm, let's go to the shop. I wanted to see what they have over there. Good day, sir. How can I help you? Mm, do you have... Well, the survival set is still the the knife, right? Yeah, the jackknife. And then Sign of the Guardian, which is new. That's a defender, I think. And not one that we need at the moment. Hmm. Still not a lot of stuff that we are have open here. But since that one we can make without any trouble, I think I'm gonna make that one then. And uh, I guess jackknife is fine. I was gonna say it's kind of expensive, but nah. It's a bit expensive, but not that much. Hmm. I guess these ones are the only ones that really have everything. Wait, there was something for green mage I saw. There you go. Sleep. Battle mace. The fire with mace is the, the, the green mages. So if I can... If my Viera can become one, I guess I'll buy a mace. How much mm, abilities do you need? I can become one, so that's kinda nice. Because you already learned Cure, yeah. So become a green mage. There you go, now you see why she's called a green mage. She's green. <laughs> and red magic, I think it's fine. <coughs> so, we're going back to the shop. Oh, my nose. So itchy lately. Really annoying. Mm, but we needed the... No, not the rod. The, the mace. And is there anything else? Uh, no, okay. I thought there was one with green mage, but I guess she doesn't use shields. There was another one then. Right? Yeah, there you go, she can't wield that one. She could become a fencer to wield these, but I think that's fine. A battle maze is all that we need. It's kind of fun, I kind of found it. I find it kind of funny how these two are the only ones with plumed heads. But there you go. I guess I can also optimize, which gives them the best stuff that they could wear. It's like... Why did it remove my shield? <laughs> did it really remove that as well? 
kind of weird. Now there you go. Now I have it again. And I guess I can give one of these ones the, the plume tat now. Yeah, there you go. She can take care of it, I think. And you... I don't like it when everyone has different kinds of stuff. There you go, now, I, now the weapon first, and then equipment later. That's nice. And do we have anything that we want to change? Technically you are done with fire, right? Can you become something else? Not yet. I could make you a white mage for a while. Because you're going to need those one day anyway, right? And we do have a white staff as well. You're still learning monkey grip. And you're still learning that one. You could become a black mage afterwards, okay. I think that should be fine. Okay, that should be okay. And you know what? Before we go to the, the Traveler's Way, I'm going to use this time at the end of the episode to read some rumors. So if you guys want, it's only going to be rumors now for until the end, so if you guys don't want to watch, you guys skip to the end for the... Or just end the... Uh, end. Stop watching the episode, really. But anyway, go prepared. You need every advantage to succeed on the battlefield. Your equipment should could spell the difference between victory and defeat. To be sure, the strength of your weapons and armor is important, but their true power lies in the abilities they possess. Simply reading a piece imbued with an ability allows you to use that ability. Why? Wear it long enough and you'll even master the ability. Why though? <laughs> it's like why and then wear it enough, okay. For the adventurer seeking even more obscure abilities, having a variety of equipment at the ready, at the ready is essential. Will your equipment lead you to victory? Your local shopkeeper. A new rumor has been added. Who'd want it? Attention hunters. Traders at the bazaar seek loot both common and rare in exchange unique arms and armor. To be made available for purchase through your local shopkeeper. Interested parties should visit their nearest shop without delay. Don't let the spoils of war go to waste. Shopkeepers Guild. There's a lot for, f there's a lot for a new hunter to wrap his, uh, wrap his head around. But at the end of the day, you won't get quest long before you find yourself in battle. Luckily, the more you fight, the more experience you gain, and the more abilities you learn. So you go to e into each new battle a little better prepared for than the last. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, eh? Soaring mountains and desolate tr tracks of the desert. You'll find all this and more in Jailand, the vast region that spans the continents of Loire and Odelia. When planning a trip, it's important to note that the Jailand calendar uses unique names for the months that make up the typical 240 day year. Greenfire, Bloodfire, and Rosefire are the spring months. The eastern skies glow bright in their uh, pre dawn light. Copper Sun, Gold Sun, and Silver Sun, the summer th months. Okay, phone. Are renowned for their brilliant skies. Ash Leaf, Mist Leaf, and Amber Leaf are the months of autumn. The turning leaves burn amber and gold into the in the dying light. Plume Frost, Black Frost, and Sky Frost are the winter months when fields and snow shine brilliantly beneath the clear morning sun. The side of the land ex excerpt. So that means we are in summer right now. At the end of summer even. Okay. I'm hearing something. What the heck? Hopefully you guys don't hear it that much as, as I do, because man, that's a loud helicopter. <laughs> but two guild to drop together. Guild make way. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait a bit. Okay, it's over. Thankfully. I don't even think it wasn't a helicopter. Helicopter. I think it was something entirely else. Else entirely. They go that way. 
But anyway, two guilds to rob together. Guild may make the world go round, but I ain't seen much come round my way. Questing and adventuring are all we well and good if you're in the clan. Well, where does that leave me? Thought I would try my hand at these clan trials, since I heard they don't cost a bloke guild. Turns out you need blood and clan points for them. Aye, it's a clan's world and don't let no one tell you differently. Time I found one to join, eh? Layabo layabout seek. Okay. It's coming back! No! <laughs> there you go, it went away again. So, next one. Lawbreaker. I ain't set foot on the battlefield since I don't know when. There was so much going on through my mind I had completely forgotten items were forbidden and then down beneath her. Well, they went one judge in one gulp. Oh, uh, they went our judge in one gulp. That's when things went from bad to worse. My mates were dropping left and right and I couldn't even use a phoenix down or magic to raise them. At that point, there wasn't much the rest of us could do but turn and run. We took the quest again and it went well enough the second time. But my clan mates still haven't forgiven me. Yeah, well... <laughs> if it goes from bad to worse, yes. You made kind of a mistake. <laughs> but, teamwork! A clan leader likes everything to go by the book. We check the enemy's weaknesses, what magic they're using, and then launch a co uh, coordinated attack. It's all about efficiency with her. Which is fine, except that she's an assassin. And assassins move fast. Something I think she forgets that not all of us can dash about the battlefield. I have to keep a close eye on her just to keep up. Maybe it's time I got a new job to put some spring bang in my step. This one's a lit clan member. It. It's under it, black mage? Okay then. I prefer traveling alone, Koopo, but I go where I want. When I want, but that's not always easy for black mage. Preparing for battle takes tremendous amount of concentration. Tremendous amounts of concentration. That means starting out each spell with no mist to use for magic. Having to wait before casting my first spell can be scary, Koopo. And that's not the worst part. It's much easier to end up surrounded when you're on your own, Koopo. Fending off attacks from the front is hard enough, but what's to, what's to keep some footpad from sneaking up behind me and clubbing me on the pom pom? That hurts, Koopo! Oh no, I forgot to read the rest! No, Koopo! Wait, let me go. Let me go check if, can if I can find that one again. Uh, clan info. Ah, there you go. I'm back, Koopo! And at last, that you can rest after a battle. Or at least you can rest after a battle. I was in a tournament just the other day that involved a series of back to back melees. I had to drink an elixir just to stay on my feet, Koopo. Luckily, I had one easily hand, one handy elixirs. Well, luckily, I had one handy. Elixirs don't grow on trees, Koopo. A lonely black mage. There you go. And back to the pub. I'm back. I read the one that I missed. So, rumors. Introductory magic studies. It is not enough to know the eight elements. Fire, ice, lightning, water, earth, wind, holy and dark. One must also know the subject's resistance. Or like they're off of the, to these elements. And there's another helicopter coming. I don't know what's going on today, but they're coming non-stop. Always flying over my house. Some beasts have weaknesses to specific elements. Taking greater damage from attacks of a certain nature. Others show resistance, but are not wholly are wholly immune. He's taking half the damage one might ex usually expect. Still, others demonstrate perfect immunity, swagging off even the mightiest of magics. Finally, the are those so in tune with a given element that they feed on its power, using that power to restore themselves. Notes of a first year academy student. The voice of experience. We learn by doing. Experience is the key to growing more powerful, and everyone you bring with you one Onto the battlefield will gain experience for their contribution. The greater the contribution, the greater the experience gained. Thank you. When who did. Ah, oh, that's the pot man again. Unlike experience, everyone in your clan gains ability points, whether they participate in battle or not. Yeah, that's something I noticed. That's kinda cool. 
No, usually it was not like that. No, it was not like that at all. Ability points enable you to master the abilities in building equipment. Once mastered, you'll be able to use these abilities even if you switch equipment. If you have mastered all the abilities co conveyed by a piece of equipment, best equip something new so those points don't go, don't go to waste. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, okay, another one? Okay, nice. You can't use any ability un until you've readied, readied them. Even using items in the heat of battle requires preparation. Now, most abilities fall into one of three favors. Action, reaction or passive. Oh, and passive, I guess. Action abilities let you act in battle. You can attack without readying your any... Oh, uh, without uh, readying any action ability, but not much else. On the other hand, reaction abilities trigger automatically when someone else does something to you. Finally, passive abilities are always around, helping you out. Some might let you use equipment you normally wouldn't be able to, or boost the damage you deal. Choose your abilities well and even the toughest tussle, as toughest tussle is as easy as word hair pie. Thank you. Been quiet lately, nothing worth mentioning. Do you have new quests? No, he doesn't. Okay. Be seeing you. That was a lot of things and a lot of uh, helicopters going over my head. <laughs> that was kind of annoying. But anyway, that is it for, for now. So then everyone, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.